should I say, Future 6S. It is Miss Smith here and I'm super excited that I'm going to be in year six with you next year. I think this uh, little gift summarises how I was feeling when Mr James told me I was going to be in year six with you all. I think there was a, few bit, a little bit of nerves in there as well, but mostly excitement. Um, ready to take on this challenge and to be on this journey with you all. So before we get started, I thought you might want to get to know a little bit about me. So I first studied um, my first degree at Bournemouth University, down by the beach, which was lovely. And I studied sports psychology and coaching sciences. So it took me a while to realise that I, um, you know, I really enjoy sport and I love that, but actually I wanted to go into the more teaching and the classroom side of things. So I took my teaching degree at St Mary's University in Twickenham. I was there at the same time as Miss Harden, so we graduated together, which was lovely. And yeah, I really enjoyed my time at St Mary's and my first teaching post was here at HGS and I've been here ever since. Um, so, I don't know if some of you remember, but um, um, back when you were teeny tiny in year three, especially those of you with you um, in 3W, uh, that was my first teaching post, teaching there with Miss Warren. So I'm really excited that I got to know you guys and the rest of the year group then, and I, you were with me at the beginning of my journey at HGS, and now I'm gonna be with you at the end of yours in year six. So hopefully we will have lots of fun. So a little bit more about me. So I don't actually live near Hampton anymore. I live down in Hampshire, um, in a little town called Petersfield, down in the south of the country. Um, so it is a little while away. Um, I do drive to school each day. It takes me a little while, um, but I don't mind it. It gives me time to reflect. Most of the time, I giggle at funny stories that have happened throughout the day with students and teachers. So yes, it's a long drive, but I don't mind it. Um, I, I am surrounded by cows and chickens where I am. I live very close to a dairy farm. Um, that is my pet uh, cockerel, Derek. You might have noticed him take a, uh, make a bit of a celebrity appearance in our st uh, staff video recently. So it's a little bit of a different lifestyle down in the countryside, but I, I do like it. Um, so, although I do love teaching, to avoid me looking like this at the end of every day with that grumpy face, I do have a few hobbies and interests that I keep up outside of school, mainly my family. So I come from quite a big family. Um, I've got my mum, my dad, and I've got two older brothers. So those of you with older siblings know we've got to grow up tough. I was the only girl and I was the youngest, so I had to fight my corner. So I've got two older brothers. Um, my eldest brother lives in Abu Dhabi in the UAE. He is a teacher over there as well. So teachers come in my family. And uh, my middle brother, Kian, he lives in Ealing, which is West London, which my family uh, is where my family are from. Now within that, the loves of my life, these are my two nephews. We've got Ryan and Ethan, and they, uh, Ryan is just about to turn four and Ethan is six, and they live in Abu Dhabi as well. So I don't get to see them very often. Um, so at Christmas time, if they come to visit, or sometimes I go over in the summer or Easter, you might find me talking about them quite a lot because um, I do really enjoy the time that we get to spend together, as it's not very often. So within that, as well as traveling to Abu Dhabi, I love to explore different countries and cultures. So before I became a teacher, I actually took a year out to travel around the world. I called it my grown up gap year. Um, and I went to explore, I think, 10 countries um, within a year. And it was just an absolutely incredible experience. Some highlights here for you. Bungee jumping in New Zealand, which was absolutely the scariest thing I've ever done. I don't think I'll do it again, but I'm glad I did it. A bit of scuba diving in Australia, some waterfall jumping and cliff jumping, so an absolutely incredible experience. Um, and you might recognise some friendly faces on the end there. Um, I do like to take some trips with Miss Taylor and Miss Logan as well in our half term holidays. Um, so, yeah, I love to explore different countries and really get to know other cultures. I'm super excited to learn where you guys are from and whether you have any highlights of places you've been to as well. So, another thing I'm quite passionate about is charity work. So I've been to Africa twice, um, I've volunteered with two separate charities. One of them was focusing on teaching sport in schools and um, building sports facilities um, within their grounds. And the second time was teaching um, and building about sanitation. So we built toilet blocks in schools and taught the children about the importance of hygiene, which as well at the moment is super important. And I'm sure you did not hear me stop banging on about it last year when I ran the marathon for Macmillan. So um, it's a ca uh, cancer charity very close to my heart. And again, a challenge I don't think I'll be doing again, um, but I'm very proud that I did complete it. Okay, I said my nephews were the love of my life, but I think it might be my dog. This is Cassius. He is a puggle. Oh, and I absolutely love him. So he does live with my parents, so I don't get to see him um, as often as I'd like. Uh, but he makes me giggle very much. 
Um, and down here on the, on the far hand side, you might see a picture of him kind of really looking in my face. And this was a moment I really enjoyed reflecting on because it was the first moment I saw him after um, the like, kind of lockdown had been eased and it was our, um, us being reunited. And it just made me reflect on, although it's been really hard not seeing him and my family, but actually that was such an amazing moment and something I won't forget for a long time. So I thought then, let's have a positive reflection about lockdown. I know it's not been the easiest time of our lives, it's been a bit strange, but I think we can take some amazing things that have happened during it. So some of my accomplishments, I believe I am now a top chef. I have finally learned how to cook properly. Um, I've been trying different recipes and different ingredients that I never thought I would eat. So I'm quite proud of that. Now, I'm sure you're all aware I am quite sporty. I promise you, I do own other clothes apart from my HDSP kit. Um, but I've taken up cycling. Well, I say take up cycling. I've given cycling a go. I'm very lucky where I live. There's lots of, lots of beautiful country lanes to explore. So I've been going on some really nice bike rides. Now, this was actually a gift from Mrs. Taylor at Christmas to me. It says, when, rain, when it rains, look for rainbows. When it's dark, look for stars. And it's a lovely little notebook that I had in my cupboard. I wasn't really sure what to do with it. And during lockdown, I thought, do you know what? I'm going to use it. I love that quote. I think it really reflects the time and place we're in at the moment. And I've kept a little lockdown diary. Um, and it's kept, I've just taken, taken pictures and kept little memories of things that have been happening and things I've achieved, which has been really nice. This might feature in it. I've been spending so much time outdoors. I finally got to use my blow up kind of sofa thing that I got for a birthday present once. And it's been so nice to spend time with family and friends in the outdoors, in the parks and places like that. Something that did definitely feature in my lockdown diary was some of the strange teaching techniques we have <laughs> adopted since lockdown. Um, a highlight for me is definitely getting Mr. Brain in a pink tutu. Um, so I know teaching has been slightly different, but we've really enjoyed and hopefully brought some smiles to your faces of some of the ridiculous videos we have been providing. And finally, I think this is time to just reflect to be proud of ourselves. I think you should be proud of everything you've achieved, whether it's just a bit of um, your home learning that you've been doing, whether it's a new skill that you've learned. I think take those small victories and take them with you into the future because you should all be really proud of yourselves that we've got through this strange and <laughs> but wonderful time together. So, getting back to school. I'm so excited for us to hopefully be back to normal in September and all together back at HJS. Hopefully we can get our sports clubs up, um, up and running again. Um, if there's any sports clubs you think that we haven't run at HJS before, or you have some other ideas or some alternative um, games activities, please do send them my way. I'm always open to ideas. I'm really um, happy and proud of the sport that we provide at HJS and I'm looking forward to helping the school continue with that next year. Being back in the classroom, uh, we are in the process of setting up our new room for September and I just can't wait to be in there with you all learning, exploring and hopefully answering all the questions that you may have. Okay, so obviously being in your six is a new experience for all of us, but I think we're all going to head it, uh, go in there headstrong and I will be there to answer any questions that you may have. And finally, being back with the staff at HDS, I am so lucky to work with such a crazy but amazing bunch of people, whether it's the other teachers, the LSAs, the admins, the cook, everyone is amazing at the school and we can't wait to welcome you back through the doors in September. So, I thought this meme might sum up how you might be feeling at the moment. It says, I have no idea what's going on here and at this point I am too afraid to ask. Please don't be afraid to ask, okay? This is a new experience for all of us. We've just come through a very strange period in our lives. Please ask any questions that you have to me, all right? I might not know the answer, but I will dig deep and try and find it. And you know, we're all in this together, okay? So I'm gonna end this with this guy. We have got this, all right? I'm so excited to be here with you in September. We're gonna smash it. We're gonna have so much fun. We're obviously gonna learn a lot too, but we've got this. And I can't wait to see you all in September. Take care.